Guys, today we go Funko Pop hunting in an actual house that was recently converted into a store. Plus, you're definitely going to stay till the end of the video to find out which grail you could potentially get for only $15. Here we go. What's going on everybody? So today we are actually at something really cool. This is Pops and More and it's actually a little house here and it is full of Funko Pops. So we just went inside, we talked to the owner, they've got some really cool stuff. So we're gonna do a little hunt video. And of course, we are gonna be on the lookout for some higher end pieces to add to Monday night's giveaway two year celebration over on whatnot. We're definitely gonna try to pick up at least one grail, if not maybe two. And I even spotted some pieces that I might even add to mine and Joanna's personal collection. So without further ado, let's go over and check out what Pops and More has awaiting inside. All right, so when you first walk up to it, it's a legit house that the owner has turned into a Funko heaven. There's pops in there, there's sodas, there's lounge fly bags, and uh, we're gonna go right in and show you guys everything that they have. So starting out right here, we actually have a really nice Disney section, and uh, I'm gonna turn and pan over so you guys can see a little layout of when you first walk in. They even have some sodas that we're gonna show off and uh, we're gonna continue on back there and check out the rest of the store. But starting out over here, we have some Disney Pops, which are always fan favorites. We got the Blacklight Jack Skellington right here. We have the Con Sticker Jiminy Cricket, which is uh, from Pinocchio. And um, I already saw and spout, spotted a lot of very reasonable prices, which is something that's always awesome to see. Moving over here, we have the Blacklight Santa Jack Skellington, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. Up here, we have Donald's Shoulder and Angel Devil, the Angel and Devil two pack from WonderCon. And up here, we even have some Encanto Pops. I don't think we've ever seen these in person. So here is Mirabelle. There's also Louisa. Let's see. We have Julieta, Abuela. We don't see Bruno though. We do have to get Bruno at some point, even though we don't talk about him. Over here, we have the Teal Chrome three pack. We have a super cute one, which is probably going to be highly sought after around Christmas time. Look at this Barnes and Noble two pack of the Grinch and Cindy Lou Who. And this one is from 2018. You definitely don't see I've that one too often. Life. Oh, the Cinderella's carriage up there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Seems like all the bigger pop movie moments and pop rides are up there on the top shelf. And I'm gonna try to capture as much as I possibly can. Right here we have Ariel with the Eric statue box lunch exclusive movie moment. We have Jack Skellington in the fountain. Rex from Toy Story, Evil Queen on her throne, as well as Ursula on her throne as well. Moving on down here, we have some Aladdin Pops. We have Yzma the Cat from New York Comic Con 2021. We have Krunk from this year's WonderCon, Mr. Prickle Pants. Down here, we have some of the Mickey variants in all the different colors. We have a bunch of Olaf Pops here from Frozen. We have the original Stitch where his head is so big, they actually had to turn the pop sideways in the box. We also have Lilo holding Scrump, with a, which I absolutely love. Look how cute that is. We also have the flocked seated stitch, as well as a bunch of other ones, including the Christmas Stitch and Angel 2-pack, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, and I have yet to see that one in person, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a bunch of Star Wars pops, and we'll definitely get to those in just a minute. We have the gold Pocahontas box lunch exclusive Ariel, Princess Tiana, and Naveen. We have some of the Funko Shop exclusive princesses where they have the pop and pin inside. It looks like he has the whole set. Over here, we have the Diamond Edition Belle. Down here, we have some of the pops from Doug Days. I have Belle from Beauty and the Beast, Enchantress from last year's WonterCon, as well as the Wardrobe, Gaston, and some more Beauty and the Beast pops, although these are from the live action movie. Over here, we have some of the pops with purpose. Love seeing these. We have Sully, Minnie and Mickey Mouse, as well as Winnie the Pooh and Cheshire Cat. Moving into some more Disney pops, we have a pair of 
Mickey and Minnie gingerbread Christmas pops, which is pretty cool. We have May from Turning Red. And then now we're gonna jump into my favorite line to collect, and that is Star Wars. So starting out right here, we have all the different variations of Grogu. Of course, the boxes are turned sideways because that's just how they do it because his ears are so big. See right here, we even have the New York Comic Con exclusive Grogu holding the Mandalorian pendant. And then moving up to the top shelf, we have all the different gold variations of the various figures. They were Walmart exclusives. We even have a retro, retro C-3PO up there. Over here we have Din Djarin. We have a First Order Snow Trooper, as well as a First Order Storm Trooper. Finn, some of the Visions pops. And then of course we have the Bad Batch. And look at that, we have four out of five members of the Bad Batch right there. We have Quill. We also have another pair of Mandalorians, the Clients, Grief Karga, one of my personal favorite characters from all of Star Wars. We have Paz Vizsla, the heavy infantry Mandalorian. We also have the Armorer, which I actually don't have for my collection. So I'm gonna put her right there so I don't forget to buy it because that's one of the worst habits I have when filming these hunt videos is I see something I like and then I forget to buy it. All right, so we have the Funko Shop exclusive Mandalorian with the Beskar Spear, the Dark Trooper, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, Mandalorian holding Grogu, that one's awesome. We also have the Gamorrean Fighter, Cara Dune, and then one of my personal favorites, the Jetpack Mandalorian holding the child. And then we have the Flamethrowing Mandalorian. Up here, I spotted the newest five pack in the Star Wars line. This one came out, of course, for Star Wars Celebration. And you get Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca. Coming on down here, we have some of the concept series pops. We even have the newest version of Gwagon Jin, which was an Amazon exclusive. Down here, we have the Glow in the Dark Dark Trooper with Grogu. That was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. We have Cobb Vanth a pair of Fennec Shans, some more of the newer Boba Fetts, and we even have some more of the Pops with Purpose with the GameStop exclusive Stormtrooper and the super cute BB-8. Down here, we have the brand new Snowman Boba Fett. Now, after seeing this in person, I'm still not in love with it. They didn't do a great job with those Pops, in my opinion, but nonetheless um i'm sure somebody will be picking them up check this out guys we actually have cal kestis and bd1 this is one of my personal favorite star wars pops of all time because of course you get the little bd1 droid hanging out with cal right there cal is a lesser known character but even though i have this one i think i'm going to grab another one because i think it's definitely one that a lot of people are going to be looking for in the future all right Coming back over here, we have the Sith Jet Trooper, which was an exclusive for 2020 San Diego Comic-Con. Down here, we have the Imperial Super Commando, a Legend Shadow Guard, the Second Sister Inquisitor, some more of the sequel trilogy pops. Down here, we have a Combat Assault Tank Trooper, one of my personal favorites, a Green Chrome Yoda, Emperor, pa Emperor Palpatine, Saw Gerrera, which we should see pretty soon upcoming in the Andor series in the next few episodes. And then moving on over here, we're gonna check out some of their sodas. They have a lot of great sodas and you typically don't see this many sodas in any stores these days. All right, so now taking a look at the sodas, we do have the Jawa. We also have Boba Fett, C-3PO, and we have Cyborg from the Teen Titans. We also have Dracula, as well as the Oompa Loompa. That one was a very popular one. We even have Ashy, as well as Dark Side. Now we're gonna check out this case here. There's a bunch of sodas down here, as well as a ton of great Chase Pops. So starting out with the sodas, we have the Pumpkin King Jack, Robin, Rudolph, Yzma, Winter Soldier, Lucky, She-Hulk, Jimi Hendrix, which was a Funcon 2 exclusive. Also a Funcon exclusive was the Blacklight Yogi Bear right there. Captain America, 
Bumble, Luke Skywalker. We also have the Stormtrooper, the Celebration exclusive Boba Fett, as well as the Celebration exclusive Retro Luke Skywalker. Larflees, which was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, right there next to Otto. We might be grabbing those Otto sodas because we did not pull the chase, unfortunately. There's also Hatsune Miku, Star-Lord, Bilbo Baggins, the Funko Shop exclusive, Invisible Bilbo Baggins, or excuse me, Invisible Frodo Baggins. There was no chase with that one. There's Black Adam as well as Venom. Now, taking a look at these chase pops, we have a lot of chases right here. We have the Chase Oswald Cobblepot as well as Selena Kyle. Stretch Armstrong from the Retro Toys line, as well as Zartan. Right there, we do have one of my favorites, the Cobb Vanth Unmasked Chase, right next to the Spartan Mark uh, V Chase. We also have the Winged Mech Strike Spider-Man Glow Chase. That one's pretty cool. We even have the Funko Shop exclusive Cogsworth Chase. We have the Elena Chase right there from the Hawkeye series. Another great Star Wars Chase with the Unmasked Bo-Katan. We have the Geralt chase, the John Lennon chase, a lot of great chase figures in this case, which is pretty cool to see. Now, coming on to the next little section here, we have some of the Funko ornaments, which is always cool to see. A little bit early for Christmas, but I guess you can never be early with Christmas when it comes to Funko. That one is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. We're going to have to get some more Funko ornaments for our tree at some point. Looks like they do have some mystery boxes. That's pretty cool. Don't see that in stores very often. There's also some crossbody lounge fly bags as well as some of the advent calendars. So that's always good to see. Behind me is also the grail case, which we will definitely check out very soon. Over here, I have to point these out because I have actually yet to see any of these in person let alone this many popsies in person. Um, so check it out. We have Jack Skellington, we have Iron Man, Beast, as well as Belle. And uh, these are definitely interesting, not something that we're gonna be collecting, but still pretty cute to see. We also have a good selection here of Pocket Pops. We do enjoy collecting the Pocket Pops. There's even a little Obi-Wan. That's pretty awesome right there. And then moving over here, what's really nice about this store is everything is broken down by theme. So coming over here, we have some more exclusives. These look like some of the newest San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Look at this, we have Black Chrysanthemum. That's a really good price for that one right there. We also have the Funko Shop exclusive newest hooded Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have the new Bambi. We have Queen Historia, which I think a lot of people were looking for that one. We also have, oh, we have a bunch of anime pops here. We have the Driving Exam Goku, Gran Torino from My Hero Academia. Up here we have Silk. We also have Kang the Conqueror, AKA He Who Remains, Spider-Man 2099. This is another Mech Strike Spider-Man right there. Up here we have the Death Watch Mandalorian with the harder to find EB Games sticker on there. And then we even have a Captain America five pack up there and up along the top shelf here or the top rack we have a bunch of great marvel legends i know there are a lot of people who collect those which is pretty cool and there's even some wwe figures right here we do have some larger pops with the battle echo base princess leia as well as the original blue box wampa that one's from 2014 and that one looks to be in very good condition we have some of the deluxe street art series with Iron Man, Captain America, and Luke Cage. And right here, we even have a nice little 50% off sale section, which is pretty cool. All right, so now moving over here to the movie section, there's a lot of great ones, starting out with some of the classic characters from the Goonies. We also have Zombieland, Ghostbusters Afterlife with all the cute mini puffs right here. Let's see, and then we have some of the other characters from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Down here, we have some of the new Lightyear Pops, as well as Legally Blonde. We also have the newer Rocky Balboa Pops, which is pretty cool. Godzilla vs. Kong. Down here, we have Billy Madison, as well as some characters from one of our favorite movies of all time, which is, of course, Happy Gilmore with Adam Sandler. And they even do have Happy Gilmore in the Boston Bruins jersey, as well as the Bob Barker and Happy Gilmore two-pack. That one's pretty cool to see in person. 
All right, we also have White Man Can't Jump, and we even have some Back to the Future pops. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Marty and Jacket, the Target exclusive Marty and Future outfit, as well as Doc with his helmet. Right here, we have the Ellie and Carl two-pack, as well as some Princess Bride pops. Oh, look at this right here. All unmarked Funko Pops are $12 each or three for 33. That's, that's pretty reasonable. That's pretty awesome. Moving up here, we have some of the Stranger Things pops. People are always looking for Stranger Things right now after the hype from the last season. And we have some of the deluxe ones right here. We have Eleven, Hopper, as well as Will, the Demogorgon, and the other Eleven. So pretty cool to see all those. And then down here, we do have some of the regular size Stranger Things pops. We have Hopper, Joyce, Robin, Max, Will, Lucas, Dustin, Mike, and Eleven. And right here, there's even a little Eleven uh, uh, Hallmark ornament, ornament, which is pretty cool. We even have some of the Stranger Things Blacklight Pops with Dustin and Eleven. Both of these were Target exclusives. We also have, um, this was the Eleven from a previous season, I believe, and then some of the 8-bit ones. Moving up here, we do have some Friends Pops. And then way up here on the top shelf, we do have a bunch of Game of Thrones pops. And I know Game of Thrones has been making a little bit of a comeback and now people are starting to search for more of the Game of Thrones pops once again. Looking up here, we even have some of the deluxe ones. I see the big six inch Drogon the Dragon. Let's see, what else do we have up there? Forgive me, I do not know all of the names. I know we have Cersei Lannister, as well as the Mountain. We even have the Mountain White Walker. And then right there, there is a Power Rangers 2-pack. Coming on back down here to the top shelf, there is the Dragon 3-pack, as well as Battle of the Bastards. So pretty cool to see all those pops. And surprisingly enough, we have another the Grinch and Cindy Lou Who two-pack. That's crazy that we've never seen that one until now. So coming on over here, I'm gonna show off more of the movie section really quick. We have some of the more, or some more of the Walking Dead pops. Let's see, we have some vaulted ones too, which is always pretty cool to see. We have Meryl Dixon, the governor, and these do look pretty old. Yeah, this is 2013. This pop is nine years old, just hanging out on the shelf from 2013. Down here, we have some more Walking Dead. We have the NYCC 2016 exclusive Shane Walsh. Let's see, another Daryl Dixon, Judith Grimes, another Daryl. Pretty cool to see that. I do know a lot of people still collect Game of Thrones. Down here, we have Blue from Blue's Clues. We have SpongeBob SquarePants, and then we even have some Parks and Rec Pops. And of course, we also have some Office Pops. I was always a fan of this one right here, Kevin Malone in the Dunder Mifflin superhero outfit. We also have Phyllis Vance, the, the Go Toys and Games exclusives Date Mike. And then down here we have some pops from His Dark Materials. I believe that was a Netflix show, but I'm not entirely familiar with that. We have some of the pops from The Queen's Gambit. We always meant to watch that, but we never got around to doing so. All right, so coming over here to the next section, looks like we have a bunch of Simpsons pops. I know Simpsons are very popular amongst a lot of Funko collectors. We have the Glowing Mr. Burns, Belly Dancer Homer, the Target Con Auto Man, the Emerald City Comic Con Millhouse, as well as the Hot Top exclusive Homer. And then now we have some Umbrella Academy pops. This one's pretty cool. The Hot Topic Glow in the Dark exclusive Ben. There's number five and Vanya. We have some Doctor Who, Speed Racer. There is a lot of great stuff in this Funko house, which is pretty cool to see. Down here, we have a lot of Star Trek ones. Let's see. I'm not as familiar with Star Trek, unfortunately. And then down here we have Seinfeld. I see Jerry, Elaine, Yev, Newman, Kramer, another Elaine, Jerry, and then a few more Star Trek. Down here on the bottom shelf, we have some more Seinfeld pops, as well as a Bob Ross, Alex Trebek, Steve Irwin, and Mumu Shashi. I'm not familiar with that one. 
but pretty cool to see. All right, now coming over to this section, looks like we have a little bit of a mix of some icons as well as some more television pops. Right here we have Abraham Lincoln, which is pretty cool to see, next to Alexander Hamilton from the Hamilton Broadway show, Aaron Burr, Angelica Schuyler. Coming on down here, we have Keith Haring, Jabba Keys. They actually performed at Fun Days this year, which was pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of the Squid Games pops. We have some more of the Simpsons. And then moving into the next section, we actually have some ad icons. So we have Moon Pie and Captain Crunch. This one's pretty funny. We actually have the Pringles can, Fruit Loops, Hot Tamales, the Hershey Kiss. This one's a great one. We actually have the Funko Shop exclusive Captain Cupcake. Down here we have the Tapatio Man, Crunch Berries, Playboy Pete, Trix, and then some more of the cereal box pops with Frankenberry, Count Chocula. And then we have a pair of Smoky Bears, Green Giant and the Sprout 2-pack, as well as both of them in individual form. This one is metallic, which is pretty cool. Up here we have some of the Care Bears. You don't see those too often. We have the America Cares Bear as well as the Christmas Wishes Bear. We have some of the McNuggets as well as Captain Crook and the metallic San Diego Comic-Con Toucan as well as the wooden Toucan. And I've actually never seen either of these in person, so that's pretty cool. All right, up here we have some more of the Hamilton Pops. George Washington, Lafayette, another Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, King George, Thomas Jefferson, and then there is another King George. All right, so now moving over to this section, always the one I struggle with the most. This is, looks like where all the anime pops are. So I'll do my best to cover everything that they have. Starting out at the top, we have some of the larger Yu-Gi-Oh pops. There is a Coca-Cola polar bear that snuck up there, as well as a Tanjiro movie moment from Demon Slayer, which we did start watching. All right, up here we have some of the Saint Seiya pops. Let's see, we have Andromeda Shun, Phoenix Iki. We have a Fruit Basket pop, as well as some more Yu-Gi-Oh. I gotta give it to Funko. Every single time we see any sort of anime pop, we just gotta credit them on all the detail that they put on some of these characters. We have some of the ones from Boruto, and then we have some more Yu-Gi-Oh ones here, as well as Avatar, The Last Airbender. Down here we have the Junji Ito collection, as well as Fairy Tale. Let's see, this is an interesting one right here. We have Young Victor from Yuri on Ice. I don't think I've ever seen that one. We also have the Flocked Gloomy Bear as well as Flocked Kirara. We have some Black Cover, The Legend of Korra, Sword Art Online, a lot of animes that I've actually never heard of. Uh, we have Fire Force right here. I have heard of that one. I know this one is very popular, Attack on Titan. Seems like everybody is always asking for Attack on Titan pops. We also have a bunch of great characters from Hunter x Hunter. Moving on down here, we have Solar Opposites. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, we also have Bakugan. And these pops, I mean, look at the dragons and everything. A lot of detail on those for sure. Down here we have Dexter's Laboratory from Cartoon Network that I do know of. I remember watching De Dexter's Laboratory as a kid. We have Super Chicken, a little bit more Demon Slayer, some One Piece, as well as Samurai Jack. Down here we have Rick and Morty, we have Queen Summer, Wasp Rick. I have Edward from Full Metal Alchemist. Another Care Bear slipped in there. We also have some of the Powerpuff Girls. And then down here, we have some Adventure Time as well as the Rut Row Scooby-Doo, Casper the Friendly Ghost, Underdog, Toki Doki. So a lot of very unique exclusives. Over here, it is very popular, so I completely understand why it has. Basically its own section, we have a lot of great Dragon Ball Z pops. I see the Red Metallic Super Saiyan Vegeta, Goten, Friesen, Frieza, excuse me, the Training Vegeta, Mecha Frieza. Right here we have the Glow in the Dark Specialty Series Super Hercule. 
let's see who else do we have jackie chun which was an emerald city comic-con exclusive from last year let's see of cell in his first form trying to show all these off because i know there is a decent amount of anime collectors now who have been following the channel down here we have some naruto and then we have some more naruto down here so moving into now this section we have some my hero academia and then we're going to go and check out the last section of the store before we check out the big grail case so let me see we have the kuro guri endeavor down here we have sir night eye all pretty cool ones lots of detail this is even pretty cool the hot topic class 1b exclusive sticker i don't think i've seen that one before we also have the hot topic exclusive twice hot topic exclusive eerie so yeah a lot of great anime characters to choose from and then walking in here we're going to tackle one of my other personal favorite lines to collect marvel so right off the bat you can see some of the pops from the loki disney plus series with mobius and kid loki we also have some blacklight marvel pops there's kate bishop up there there's that hot topic carnage that i absolutely love there is a diamond white vision i also see a blacklight floating scarlet witch the pops with purpose iron man we do have agent 13 from civil war as well as the comic falcon from funk on moving on down here we have some of the mech strike pops as well as some of the new ones from thor love and thunder there's jane's mighty thor right there we also have the doppelganger spider-man as well as the target exclusive black cat and then we have some pops from spider-man no way home as well as some variants of miles morales moving on down here we have some of the marvel what if pops we have zombie captain america right there zombie falcon as well as zombie iron man and zombie hunter spidey there's even zombie doctor strange and then another zombie hunter spidey where he is unmasked right there we have captain carter as well as gamora we even have Frost Giant Loki, Infinity Ultron, we have Ravager Thanos, Zola Vision, Infinity Killmonger, a Blacklight Captain Marvel, there's a pair of Taskmasters, we even have some of the new pops from the Miss Marvel Disney Plus series, and now we're moving into some Moon Knight pops, as well as some Hawkeye Disney Plus series pops right here. There's even that Maya Lopez, which I do need to pick up at some point, and there is Yelena and Hawkeye. We have a couple Venomized ones here, there's a Venomized Kingpin, which is pretty cool, as well as a poison captain america we have mayhem as well as carnage with the axe hands oh there's america chavez from this year's sdcc we also have some more pops here from dr strange in the multiverse of madness there's the fungus shop exclusive christine palmer another america chavez we have dead dr strange a captain carter variant and then we have lady deadpool and now we're looking at a bunch of deadpools we have barista deadpool let's see um another roman deadpool there larp deadpool sherlock deadpool there are so many deadpools artist deadpool they just keep pumping them out um, and then we have some Deadpool characters from the first movie. We also have Ironheart. She's got a Disney Plus series coming up. There's Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. We have the Target exclusive Crouching Mystique, as well as some of the Gingerbread Pops. There's the Gingerbread Spider-Man, Gingerbread Scarlet Witch, Gingerbread Thor. I actually really like the Gingerbread Black Panther. We also have the Gingerbread Hulk, Gingerbread Iron Man, Gingerbread Captain America, a Blacklight Sam Wilson Captain America slipped in there and now we have some pops from the falcon and winter soldier series there's john f walker aka the u.s agent we also have baron zemo moving on down here we have zombie hulk zombie deadpool zombie wolverine all the zombie pops are <laughs> right here we have zombie red hulk zombie modok zombie she hulk that was a hot topic exclusive zombie mystique was an fye exclusive and now we're moving into some avengers endgame pops really like how all these pops are sorted either by movie or by their disney plus show and then right here we have some of the lesser desired Marvel Pops with some of the Artist Series ones in hard stacks. Moving on down here we have some of the X-Men Pops. We have 
Toad and Colossus, as well as the original Quicksilver. And now we're moving into some of the Eternals pops. And a lot of these characters we found are not very popular, and they do sit on a lot of store shelves, unfortunately. We have still not seen the Eternals movie, but we do need to watch it at some point. So at least we know that corner of the MCU. And then down here we have Rocket and Gamora, both in gold chrome form. Now we're going to move over to the next section. And this section does have some more Marvel pops up there. You can see the Marvel 80 Years Vulture. There's also all those chrome Thanos pops, as well as some of the comic book cover pops, which look fantastic. We just need about 18 more walls in our house to uh, actually house some of these. Up there, we also have the Deluxe Sinister Six pops. I do still need a few of those. We have Doc Ock, Vulture, as well as Sandman. There is a Madam Web up there. And then moving on to this next shelf we have a bunch of the infinity warps pops so naturally you can't have marvel without having dc and up here we have some of the larger 10 inch pops with the joker and robert pattinson's batman down here we do have robert pattinson in his batmobile as well as some more of the dc comic book covers down here, we have some more Batman pops. We also have Darkseid on his throne. We even have the Imperial Palace Martian Manhunter, as well as the Artist Series 1989 Joker. Down here, there's a bunch of the Chrome Jokers from Arkham Asylum. We also have the Target exclusive Jack Frost Joker. We also have the Joker King, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. We also have the Black Suit Rebirth Spider-Man from Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League. We also have Desaad and Darkseid. Um, let's see, moving on down here, we have one of my personal favorites of the San Diego Comic-Con, Bruce Wayne. We even have some of the newest Batman, the Batman Pops from Robin Pattinson's movie uh, with the Penguin as well as Selina Kyle. Down here, we have the Day of the Dead, Batman and Joker. Right here, we have some of the Batman 80 Year exclusives, which are always really cool. And we even have a DC Shop Diamond Batman. Coming on down here to this shelf, we have some pops from the Birds of Prey movie. We have Harley Quinn, Huntress, Roman Sionis, of course, and then a bunch more Harley Quinn variants. There's even a Harley Quinn uh, comic book version that was from Hot Topic. We have a Breast Cancer Series Batgirl, as well as a Breast Cancer Series Batwoman, Supergirl, Hawk Girl, and Catwoman. There's even an Arthur Curry, which was a New York Comic Con exclusive, and that was from his first movie. Movie. And then down here, we have some of the pops from the Peacemaker series, which we actually didn't get a chance to see. We did see the newer Suicide Squad movie. We were not big fans of that, but here are some of the pops. You have Rick Flagg, Captain Boomerang, King Shark, which arguably was the funniest character in the movie. Then we have Harley Quinn, Peacemaker, and Bloodsport. I did enjoy Bloodsport's character. Down here, we have the three-pack of the Chrome Supermans, White Lantern, Sinestro, Captain Atom, Dead Man, which was an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Now moving into some of the Black Lightning TV show, TV series pops. We have Black Lightning, of course, Thunder, and um, Thomas Wayne, I believe that was. All right, now moving into the Black Adam movie pop. So that one should be coming out pretty soon. And then down here, we have some of the Rainbow Pride DC pops. Now we're moving into some pops from the first Justice League movie back in 2016. We also have a DC Legion of Collectors Hawk Girl. There's a Diamond DC Shop exclusive The Flash. Some more Flash pops with the Funko Shop exclusive Day of the Dead Running Flash, as well as some Imperial Palace flashes. Down here we have some Wonder Woman pops. There's even Wonder Woman in her golden armor from Wonder Woman 1984, as well as some Wonder Woman variants from the 80 year anniversary of Wonder Woman, including the Diamond DC Shop exclusive, as well as the Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive, as well as a few more. There's even the Barnes and Noble Diamond exclusive. There are so many Wonder Woman pops. 
All right, so now coming back around, I want to capture some of the pops from the middle section right here before we head back out to the grail case. So right here we have some pops from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Leatherface. We also have Hannibal. We have a pair of Krampus pops. We even have the Bride of Frankenstein, which is pretty cool. We have the Diamond Exclusive Elvira. We even have the Sam Deluxe pop, as well as a giant 10-inch Michael Myers. Coming on down here, we have the Blacklight Entertainment Earth exclusive Pennywise, as well as a whole onslaught of Pennywise variants. We even have Genie from Creepshow. Um, coming over to this shelf, we have Stephen King, which of course is a very famous horror writer. We have Monster from A Quiet Place, the Jumbo Blacklight, Ash, Jangly Man, that super creepy leprechaun from that movie. And then coming on down here, we have some pops from Candyman. We even have Mandy and Red Miller from Mandy. I'm not familiar with that. A pair of Carrie Pops. A couple more pops here from Chucky. We even have the Blacklight Chucky. That one's pretty cool. Then we have Chuckles from Trick or Treat as well as Sam from Trick or Treat. All right, so now we're going to walk back to the Grail case, which I know a lot of you guys have been dying to see. And it's definitely not going to disappoint as there is a lot of really cool pops inside here. So starting off right here, we do have the Funko Shop exclusive three hole punch Jim Halpert from The Office. We also have Natasha Romanoff from the Black Widow movie, as well as Black Widow in her snowsuit, as well as Yelena from the Black Widow movie. And that is a big grail that I know a lot of Marvel collectors are still going after. We have Goofy in the train car, as well as Dumbo in the train car. We have a pair of Scooby-Doo OGs right here. We have Fred and Daphne, as well as H&R Puffin stuff. And we even have the Funko Shop exclusive Werewolf. We have Rick O'Connell from The Mummy. This one is super hard to find, and I'm actually shocked that it's still here. I can't imagine many people walking by it. This is the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con flocked cat dog. This one took us years to track down for our collection in good, con in good condition, and uh, pretty cool to see that one. We also have Krampus, as well as a bunch of the newer Star Wars Celebration pops right here and their black boxes over there we do have doc holiday the funko shop exclusive rick from rick and morty derek jeter as well as the bait exclusive boba fett coming on down here we do have conan as wonder woman as well as some more star wars ones we have the artist series c-3po the red boba fett which was a WonderCon exclusive we have crow and tom servo we also have the Artist Series Camouflage Boba Fett, which was a Target, Target exclusive. We have the Target exclusive Jawa, the Blacklight Hot Topic exclusive Joker, Piccolo, as well as one of my all-time favorites, the Black Boba Fett from Emerald City Comic Con. We also have He-Man. We do have a Birthday Freddy right there, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. Super cute. Sigmund. Naruto Six Path, and I believe that is the glow in the dark one. And look at this, we even have Scarlet Witch from Avengers Age of Ultron. And this one is from 2015. This has actually been one that I've been trying to track down for a long time. It's one of the few Scarlet Witch pops that I'm missing. And um, she might be coming home with us today. We also have Zantana, John Diggle from Arrow, Mothman, and look at this one. This is a big one right here. The San Diego Comic-Con 2017 Tony Stark holding his helmet from Spider-Man Homecoming. That is a great one. Definitely a potential candidate for a giveaway. We really like that pop. I have it in my collection. It is beautiful. Right here we have the Jackalope from the Myths line. Garfield, Max from Stranger Things. We even have Marty McFly in the radiation suit this was a new york comic-con exclusive from 2019 we have endora as well as daria and then right here we have finn from adventure time and then check this bad boy out we have the action pose mandalorian from 2019 new york comic-con that is a pop that i don't think is going to stay at that value for much longer with the mandalorian season three on the way and then to round it out guys we do have the reveal version of 
Cruella from the Cruella live action movie. So a lot of great stuff here at the Pop House Pops and More. If you guys are ever in the area, you definitely got to check it out. And uh, we'll show you guys everything that we picked up in just a sec. All right, guys, so that was the full store breakdown of Pops and More. I wanna give a quick shout out to the owner. He was incredibly kind and very hospitable to myself, Joanna, Emma, and Isabel. We were all actually in the store for a couple minutes longer than when he typically closes, so big shout out to him. We thoroughly enjoyed walking through the entire store. And if you guys are ever in the Mount Holly, New Jersey area, you definitely should check him out because as you guys saw, he has a ton of great pops as well as lounge fly bags, Funko sodas. That was arguably the biggest Funko soda selection that we have ever seen in a store. And on top of that, he had a, you know just an additional array of awesome Funko products. So you guys are probably wondering what we ended up picking up. And we did spend a little bit of money, but there's definitely some good news for all you guys watching like I promised in the intro of the video one of the pops which is a grail that we did pick up will be up for grabs tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern on our two-year anniversary whatnot stream if you guys have not had the opportunity to download the whatnot app definitely take advantage of the link in the description below because that will give you a $15 credit to use on whatever you may like and we do have a bunch of great items including five Funko Pop grails a soda chase and a beautiful new with tags, Spongebob Squarepants, lounge fly bag, all those items will be dropping in the buy it now section of tonight's two year anniversary whatnot stream for only $15. Now some of them are currently already in the buy it now for a very absurd price. That is not what we are going to be charging. We will be changing the prices for those items at some point during tonight's stream. So bring your quick fingers. It's sure to be a great night. We're also gonna be doing a lot of giveaways and we're gonna have an absolute blast like we do every single Monday night. So, all right guys, I got this big bag of goodies and um, the first pop that I ended up picking up is one that I actually needed for my Star Wars collection and this is the armor. She is going to be in the Mandalorian season three and I think her character is gonna play a vital role in the season. We could see her turn from sort of an ally to Din Djarin and Grogu to maybe becoming a full-on villain. I have a good hunch that this pop's gonna be going up in value so I'm very happy that I was able to secure that for my collection. Another pop that I actually already own but it was just such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up. This is Cal Kestis with his BD-1 droid. There's actually a second Star Wars uh, video game coming out with Cal as the main character once again. And he is a candidate that we could be seeing in live action form in the Star Wars universe very soon. All right, the next pop I bought, now this one is a big one that I have been searching for my personal Marvel collection for quite some time. And... Um, you guys probably saw in the video, the price on her was just too good to pass up. So check it out. We have the original Scarlet Witch from Avengers Age of Ultron. This pop is absolutely beautiful. Coming in from 2015. And uh, I actually cannot wait to get her in a hard stack because she is definitely deserving of it. And this one is in beautiful condition so I'm very happy that I was able to snag it for such a good price as patience definitely pays off I have been wanting that one for quite some time and the last pop that we picked up we did end up picking up two sodas as well which I think I'm gonna crack open right here the next pop that we picked up is a big one from the original Scooby-Doo wave and this is Daphne. And for those of you guys wondering, yes, this is the grail that is gonna be going up alongside all of the other great items that I mentioned tonight for only $15. So if you guys are a Scooby-Doo fan and happen to need Daphne for your collection, I talked to Joanna and I said, you know what? I think that one is gonna be a good one for tonight's two year anniversary. So that is why we grabbed it. These are the four pops that we picked up from Pops and More, and uh, very, very happy with our purchases. Now, that was just the pops. We did end up grabbing two Funko sodas. They are both of the same character. We have not pulled either of these two chases yet. This is the beloved Otto from the Fantastic Plastic line, and he was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from this year's SDCC. 
We do have the common, but I do need the chases. So we're going to rip these open. Let's see if our luck will prevail. Now the chases had the pogs, unfortunately, backwards. So with any luck, I'll just be happy to pull one and then we'll sort it out as we go from there. But we opened up several autos with no luck. So hopefully our luck will turn around. And uh, here we go, guys. Let's do it. 7,500 pieces. And this auto is the common. One out of 6,000. 250 he's he's tough to pull even though he's got two chases to go after he is pretty tough but we had to grab him because you could only get them sealed from the funko shop they did not sell cases of these so i knew our odds were definitely better and it was also nice to be able to support pops and more by buying some sodas as well so that was the first auto soda we got one more shot at it guys one more SDCC 7500 piece auto. I would love to pull one of these chases. There's two chases to go after. It's only the second soda that Funko has ever made so far where there are multiple chases, which in my opinion just makes the chase hunt that much more exciting. But here we go. Come on. It's Monday. Can we crack the streak here? Yes, we did. Finally, we got one, one out of 625 pieces. Now the Pog says auto in purple. Yes, finally. Oh my God, I've been dying to pull an auto chase for quite some time. And um, let's see if this one is the purple one. I have a feeling it's not gonna be purple. Nope, it is the orange auto one. So look at that, the... Pog mix-up continues, but you know what? I'm happy. We're halfway home. We just got to hopefully find somebody that we can trade the Pog with and uh, maybe, I don't know, trade the figure with as well or uh, hopefully pick up a purple auto with an orange Pog. But here he is, guys. We pulled one of the chases, and there's only 625 of each chase. That is very low. If you combine that, that is 1,250 chases. But I think this little guy is gonna be worth a little bit in the long run. And I mean, check it out. He's super cute. If you guys haven't seen him already, he's got his little wrench. I love his helmet. He does have the little eight ball behind him. My favorite feature with him is actually the Funko crown right there on the front. Man, that's that's awesome. So shout out to Pops and More. That, that was an awesome little store. And we finally got ourselves the first auto chase. Freaking awesome. Anyway, guys, because it is Monday, it's time for our weekly Monday motivation segment. And today's Monday motivation is you literally know, you never know what you're going to find in your area. And that is why we always encourage you guys to do some research and take a risk. So we actually took a huge risk by going out to Pops and More. This store was over an hour away from our family family's house in New Jersey, and pretty much over five hours away from where we live here in Boston, Massachusetts, but we took the risk. We went to the store, not really knowing anything about it, just going off of some very old Google pictures that were posted several months back, and we said, you know what? Um, let's go check this place out. It could have some really cool stuff, and lo and behold, uh, you know, Karma was in our favor, luck was in our favor, and not only do we find some great grails, some awesome Star Wars pops, we ended up pulling a big chase that we needed for our collection. So guys, seriously, do some research. Type Funko into that Google Maps search bar. You literally never know what you're gonna find, and uh, some days could turn out to be way better than what you could ever imagine. So that is today's Monday motivation. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the hunt for today. Once again, last big final shout out to Pops and More. That store was awesome. And uh, when we're back in the Mount Holy area, we're definitely going to be visiting it once again. So guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. We really appreciate it and it definitely helps out our growth. Smash that like button if you enjoyed today's hunt video and you would like to see more of them here on the channel. And with that being said, we will see you guys at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. You are not going to want to miss the stream. And as always, guys... Don't stop shooting until you score.